Diana Denmark here. Good morning. It's still dark here. Normally I would be giving you a wee shake of my pom poms, and don't worry, I will do that at the end before I leave. Uh, but I just wanted to check in with you today. Look at that. Woohoo! We are into the month of December, and as I've told you before, uh, the whole month of December in Denmark is called Yulemonil, which means the Christmas month. And you know, the Danes, we are crazy about our uh, hygge and about our candles. If you're following me on Instagram, you'll already have seen a lot of candles because we also had the Advent candles uh, on Sunday. I'll see if I can put a picture up. Anyway, this is the one that we, um, we, we usually burn these candles in the morning when we're having our breakfast. My candle likes, it's really dark uh, here in the mornings. Uh, and, and also when we're having our dinner or, or just in the evening, in the afternoon, if you're taking a wee bit of uh, time to have a break. I'll show you the other one. Let me just put this one down. Hold on. Right. And this is the other one that we have. You can see here. So we are burning down to the uh, second today. And I know a lot of you want to have these candles, can't find them. You can easily make your own one. I've seen lots of pictures on Instagram where you have made your own one uh, just by sticking uh, stuff in a, in a jar, um, taking a, a jam jar, putting a candle inside and writing the numbers outside uh, with a felt tip pen or a sharpie. So it is possible to, to join in if you want to do that. Anyway, I'm checking with you today because we are in the Christmas month, hold on, let me pop that there. Uh, we are in the Christmas month here in December and I, I know a lot of you may be feeling a wee bit stressed and, I, and I'm here once again just to, to say to you, to encourage you to keep going with your daily routines. The daily routines are what are going to, you know, call them the bookends of your day, your safety net, uh, whatever you want to call it. That th Those are the kind of things that uh, hold you up. You know, on the good days and especially on the bad days, I know some of you um, are going through difficult times right now. And just that, that very fact of having your routines, at least for me, when, when uh, you know, I've had uh, periods of grief uh, or, or stress, is that it just kind of pulls us through. They're, they're kind of comforting in a way. So keep going with your morning routine, your evening routine. And it's just the basics. Uh, making sure that you uh, do the dishes every day, you know, run the dishwasher, uh, look out your outfit for tomorrow, mine is ready to go, um, you know, make the bed, I mean, it, it, take, it takes like one or two minutes and it just gives you that feeling of having accomplished something. But I, I did want to check in with you today because I, I know at the moment, you know, some of you are rushing around and you're saying, uh, you know, and I don't have time to, to do anything for me today. And, and you know what? We, we've really got to got to stop that because it's the whole idea of just taking a few minutes for ourselves every day. And it doesn't need to cost a lot of money and it doesn't need to take a lot of time. I told you this before. can can really change our mindset um, on things. And especially right now where you're thinking, why is Diane telling me to, to take time for me? Because I have to wrap all the gifts and I have to clean the house. And I haven't even bre eaten breakfast this morning. Well, this the, you, you've got to stop right now and listen, okay? Because uh, you, you know I've always said to you, I'm not your mum, but today I'm going to be your mum. Got to look after you. And I'll, I'll give you a few wee tips of what I am doing right now just to keep me moving uh, through the, uh, the the month of December with a smile on my face instead of being all uh, grumpy and not in getting my sleep. So I've got a couple of things that I do. I have my um, self-care bingo card. Now, I, I've, I've been through this before. You can find it on my blog, denmark.com and I have lots of ideas of what you can do. You can do it by Fly Lady Zone if you're using the Fly Lady system. Um, and I, I've actually, I've put them all into one blog post. Um, and, and I've gone through a list of the ideas of thing, things that you can do for a wee bit of self-care. Anyway, and, and I've got my little bingo card and what I do is at the beginning of the week I write down a few ideas. Now I may not get to them, I may get to all of them, an extra, but the main thing is that I'm just kind of being focused in, uh, being mindful, uh, just being intentional, you know, all those buzzwords of doing something for me. And I, I really want to stress to you, do not leave, you know, you until the end of the day because you know what happens uh, maybe you're looking after uh, a loved one or you've got uh, 10 small kids under the age of five. And, and if you don't get it done during the day, it, it just doesn't happen. And then at the end of the day, you're doing that uh, thing where you're just kind of sitting in front of the television, 
uh, you know, I, I've called, you know, you've heard me talking about before that kind of uh, mombi thing, like a mum zombie, you're just kind of sitting there, not knowing, knowing what's going on. Just try and get in, if, if possible, as early as you can into your day. And I'll tell you what I'm, I've got in my wee chart for this week. Hopefully that'll give you some ideas. Uh, oh, and also I was going to say to you, if you're feeling kind of um, stressed and bind with, with the house, I've got plenty of videos how to get, uh, you know, how to get uh, back on track, how to get moving with things. You could even use something as simple as uh, the little uh, cheat sheet card I have, you know, for the... Um, for the power hour of cleaning. You could even take the kids one, just spend five minutes on each of these tasks um, and, and it will really make a change to how the house feels. But anyway, we're, we're, we're talking about you today and how, how you feel. So I'll, I'll go from the top. Uh, oh, and also, uh, one of my things at the moment has to be to, to wear something a bit kind of seasonal, a bit Christmas themed. So today I've got my, I don't know if you can see these, these are, um, little snowball earrings and they've got glitter <laughs> inside them so I've got my little kind of pom-pom uh, snowball earrings I've got this uh, ring which has got Rudolph on it just for a wee bit of fun now this is actually a children's ring but I thought it was quite fun so I, I wear this sometimes at Christmas uh, and I've got just my red uh, sweater with the wee pearls on it you've seen me I, I wear this all year round but especially right now it kind of fits the uh, festive theme so Here's my little uh, bingo card. So, um, essential oils, um, put a, wee, a few drops in, in your diffuser when you're getting ready in the morning or when you're getting um, ready for bed at night. Um, I, I've started doing a thing, somebody, uh, one of you lovely um, viewers here gave me this idea, just sprinkle a few drops like in the back of the shower, you know, on a shower wall, before you, you put on the water in the shower. And it really feels like you're, you're in a spa. And I've been using, uh, I've got lavender and I've got eucalyptus. And one that I got for me recently, that this was a little uh, self-care gift to myself. Uh, I got one from Muji, which is uh, bergamo. Uh, you know, the same as, um, the same uh, smell as you get in Earl Grey tea. I love Earl Grey tea. So, and I've also got washing up liquid that's got bergamot in it. So anyway, that, that, that's a wee thing that I've been doing in the mornings. And just that, you know, it, it, take, it takes 10 seconds to, to put a, a couple of drops of oil uh, at the back of the shower. And I, I really get that, that feeling of having done something for myself. So anyway, that, that's one. Uh, a wee bit of a uh, sparkle or glimmer uh, in my hair and my makeup and today I'm going for a wee bit of sparkle in my hair I don't know if it'll pick it up and I, I was just thinking you know I used to do this years ago you know putting the uh, glitter spray in my hair if we can't do it now then, then, then when can we do it so so that's what I'm doing right now uh, a hot chocolate for my sea swim snack you know that I, I, I skinny dip sea swim with my besties uh, every day or every other day and uh, this week uh, I had a uh, hot chocolate with me in my thermos normally I have Earl Grey tea or some kind of uh, spiced tea um, uh, the other day I had hot chocolate so there you go I, I didn't have uh, cream and marshmallows there's a bit too much uh, but I had hot chocolate and I really enjoyed that just that thing of, of changing things up a wee bit and, and I know probably you're not out sea swimming but maybe you can just uh, take a wee walk around the block maybe there's a bench that you can sit on take a plastic bag with you you can always uh, sit on a plastic bag if the bench is uh, wet or, or if you're out in the woods uh, some kind of grassy knoll to sit on and, and enjoy uh, a thermos of tea or a hot chocolate there you know you, you, you can do it whatever the weather um, wear red or green, well, I'm wearing red today, I'm wearing uh, winter white tomorrow and then maybe the day after that I'll wear green. Um, and what about watching, you know, a, a Christmas episode of a TV series that you like or a Christmas movie, read some uh, Christmas uh, cosy mysteries. I made a video about that a few weeks ago and uh, yesterday I watched <laughs> the Father Brown, you know, I love Father Brown. I watched the Christmas episode of that and uh, at the weekend I saw the Miss Fisher's, uh, you know, Franny Fisher. I watched the Christmas episode of that and then of course there's all the uh, classic um, Christmas movies like Die Hard, a Taxi, French Taxi, one of those is a Christmas one. Anyway, I, I've talked about Christmas things before. Uh, and last thing is remember to keep friends on your radar. Is, is there a friend that you haven't seen for a while? Maybe you can get together for a cup of um, 
uh, Christmas latte or something at a distance. Maybe you can just send them uh, a little text to say that you're thinking about them, a little Christmas uh, secret Santa gift. Just, you know, also that thing of giving something to others is, uh, you know, a, a little reward in itself. So anyway, I'm going to get on with my day. I hope you will do something nice for yourself. Uh, you know, you don't need to be, and listen, you don't need to be going printing off charts and stuff like that. Just take uh, a, 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 an old, you know, back of an envelope right here, right now, and jot down a few things that you can do for, for yourself. Let me know what you can do for you today. Uh, and remember, come and join us on Instagram because I'm posting there a lot at the moment. I'm not doing so many uh, YouTube videos but I'm posting a lot of all the hoogly stuff that we have here in uh, in, in wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. Um, and that's it. So let me get on my merry way because I am off for a skinny dip sea swim. Uh, so all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Eula hoogie be with you. Keep going out there with your uh, with your candles. And I shall see you when, when I see you. And here we go with a ra, ra, ra. Okay, bye for now with a ho, ho, ho.